Hey, what is going on you guys? This is your aviation guy and I'm back with another video finally today is um, Friday I think yeah it, yeah it is Friday so I am back with another brand new video for you guys so this time it's um how to use project fly with x-plane 11 well it's well you can use it I think with FSX um, P3D and x-plane 11 I'm just gonna show you guys the basics you know how you use it and other stuff with the um, program so you will need to download project fly I will leave a link for that in the link in the description and you will need to create an account so this is my account well you see t my total flights is only free because I haven't flown that much because I'm not home total flight hours is 2 hours 31 minutes and 31 seconds most visit visited airfield is ESGG which is Gothenburg something that's my latest flight from ESAA um, Stockholm Islander to um, Gothenburg so um, that's the website and I'm just gonna show you guys the actual program so this is the actual program this is just um, the main home screen and I'll show you guys the passport first passport first so what this basically is you unlock these flags to the countries you've been I think I don't have uh, I've unlocked New Zealand I've unlocked Sweden I think that's the only two countries I've unlocked and nothing else yep so um New Zealand which is my flight from um uh, I cannot remember and um Sweden from Stockholm to Gothenburg so I'm just gonna go back to this and if you click on view logbook these are your flights oh so yeah um my New Zealand flight was from Christchurch to Wellington my s flight in Sweden was from um, Stockholm to uh, Gothenburg but you may ask why there's two on mine well the first one was a bit of a failure so I've created a new one so that's why there's two I'm go back to the home screen and now I'll show you how to add a new aircraft or see your fleet so you go to um, Stratus I think you go to fleet and as you can see I have three aircraft right now the every Tony and New Zealand the 737 um, 9 737 800 um, American and the 738 um, SAS SAS and this 737 900 New Zealand and New Zealand so if you want to add a new aircraft it's easy you just click on add new aircraft select the aircraft, aircraft type I'll just say the 787-8 why not select the airline um, British Airways hold on um, what was British what's uh, I, I, I really cannot remember <laughs> uh, then AAL is fine American Airlines hold on American and your registration I'm just gonna say November um, hotel hotel five five six Lima yeah and you can select your home home base airfield I'm just gonna select um, hmm, what airport Chicago should be off, should be fine so KOR KRD, which is Chicago O'Hare International, and then you can select an image. You know, you can select the image. This is for well, these images are for my future videos. Um, the future video is going to be um, ten best budget airlines in 2018 by tracks Hopefully, I'll be posting that by Monday. Yeah, it's Saturday. It's Friday now. I I live in Thailand, so. 
my time might not be as the same as you guys so when you're done with this and you just want to click on add aircraft that's that's all right how do I get out of this there you go so if you go onto logbook hold on I've already showed you this haven't I so if you want to create a new flight you go to status and bookings it it might say it doesn't look like you have any bookings you just want to say create a new booking and I am I am departing let's say KORD to um, KEYW no that's wrong one um, I'm just gonna say KJFK John F Kennedy so um, then you select um, which airline well you can select any of this it doesn't really matter so that's our flight route I'm just gonna select it this um, American Airlines 748 yeah and flight number uh, flight types um, scheduled flight rules IFR and the aircraft you just select your aircraft I'm just gonna say this American Airlines um, and you can select the network what sim about however you pronounce that um, pilot edge or FS cloud yeah so if you're done with that you just click on click on book and dispatch and then it will take you to this sim brief I, I use sim brief but you can do this as well but I use sim brief so I don't think I have anything on sim brief so yeah I can't show you that um I'll be back in a sec so I'm back I'm in sim brief I'm just gonna add a little bonus on how to book uh, how to um, make a flight plan on Simbrief why not so airline AAL um, flight number anything I'm just gonna go for 941 the part is like uh, KORD to KJFK select the airframe or aircraft I'm gonna just gonna select the 748 um, extra fuel if you uh, you need it I'm just gonna select um, 1.7 um this auto is fine our departure runway is 28 right our runway 22 right by the way i'm not gonna do the flight um sh um schedule time and route which is two hours and five minutes and you just want to click analyze analyze route 654 nautical miles and that's your flight plan so you're just gonna click you wanna click on generate ofp it's not difficult you just wait for it to load should be done in a couple of sex seconds I mean okay and this is your flight plan or flight map I should say and if you want to see this all easier you just click on print view PDF and this is it this is it so you know this will tell you your cousin index which is 43 Ugh. sorry about that um so uh, this is your where is it? Your extra fuel, which is one thousand seventeen hundred. Um, it will show you block fuel somewhere. There it is, ten thousand two hundred eleven kilos or pounds. I'm not too sure. Um, then this is just you know your alternate, which is um, Boston. And this is your flight plan basically. So we're gonna be departing K or uh, uh, Chicago O'Hare to eight right. Um, no seat was that I can't remember. I, I haven't flown in a long time, so don't blame me. Um, so, this is your waypoints and stuff. And you, we're gonna be depart, uh, arriving on runway 22 right at KJFK through the Lendy 6. And you know, this is just your packs, which is all passengers, which is 170, cargo 0, 0.0, payload 17.7. .7, Zero fuel weight, which is 59.4, or max is 62.7. Yeah, blah blah blah. You can look all f through all of this if you want. I'm not. I'm just gonna show you this. Um, so I use sim brief. You you just click on sim brief. I'm just gonna say dispatch wears sim brief, and I'm not gonna let you guys see it. It's, I'm so I'm just gonna cut it. Okay, I'm back again. So I've entered my information, and you can click on keep me locked in if you want. I'm just gonna click on log in and just wait for it to load 
I'm from Thailand, by the way. Didn't I tell you that? Yeah, and I'm 11 years old, so yeah. So you just click on fly now. It doesn't look like you have an active flight simulator connection, so yeah. So if you do have a active um, simulator connection, there will be a bar here showing your um, flight route. You know, it's kind of like a bar where um, uh, it's like. Uh, should I just show you? Yeah, yeah. So I'm back again. I'm back again. I've just op launched up X plane, so I can show you. So I'm just gonna kind of fly now again. So this is what I'm talking about. Once when you once you progress, this will move, and when you're done, it will be at the end, basically. So don't look at that. That's uh, that doesn't really work. Um, network offline latitude. Well, I'm not in the map. I'm just like and on the home screen. So um, scroll up to yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so. So I'm just gonna kind of cancel flight. Okay, so if you go to radar now, hold on, I'll be back in a sec. I'm just gonna close it, explain. So, I'm back again. Yeah. So, if you go to radar, as I was saying, you'll see live flights right right this second. So, like this AL66 from K from KGFK, which is um, New York to LEBL, I can't remember, I think that's Brussels, no that's EBBR, to Barcelona, yeah, so it's a 777 something, the 777 L, I'm not sure, I love it, yeah, so, he's um, more than halfway into the flight, and let's click on this guy, this is from uh, Evans to Cairo, is a seven three seven eight hundred? I think Egypt Air. He's done the flight. That's done. Not not many flights in Asia actually. So um, let's click on this flight. Hold on, it's a little laggy. Hmm, strange. So this flight, Saudi Arabia Everytonia from LIMC to OEJN, which is King Abdul something. I can't pronounce that. And let's say this flight is from no image available, okay? F319 from Copenhagen to Vega, I don't know. And this is from Copenhagen to uh, Leicester B. Pearson, which is CYYZ or Toronto International Airport. So that's it for radar. Um, community, I'm not sure what's this. Oh, uh, yeah, community you know the news announcements feedback error reporting and general discussion so if you're going to support basically search problem or look below yeah so that's all I've got for today's video guys I hope you have enjoyed that little tutorial of project project fly slash a little bit of sim brief so I hope you enjoyed that if you did please leave a like and subscribe it helps me a lot you know so that's it for today um i hope i see you guys in the next video and um thanks for watching bye i guess yeah thanks for watching bye yeah.